This is a greenhouse. And this is a yoga studio. And this is me. I can't even touch my toes. And that is why we are gonna build a yoga studio in our greenhouse in our own backyard. Will I be able to touch my toes after this? Uh, probably not. There's more to building a yoga studio in a greenhouse than just not being able to touch my toes. Let me tell you a little story. My friends play this game called the bag game, where a brown paper bag keeps getting smaller and smaller and you need to pick it up with your mouth. Sounds silly, but it's fun. Well, I think. I've never actually participated in it. Even as a child, I got exempt from sitting cross-legged on the carpet at school because my hips just can't. Pretty sad, right? So from now and until this video comes out, I am going to commit to doing yoga every single day in hopes that I'm going to be able to touch my toes and improve my flexibility. This is our cabin in the woods. When we moved here, it looked like this. There are challenges and successes each week as we renovate this 15 acres into our dream homestead. Let's begin. Come on, better clap. Let's begin. Love it, hyped. First, we need to remove this pond. We need a lot more space. And after realizing how this greenhouse works in our climate, we have learned we do not need it. Icky wicky pond. Look at that icky wicky stinky pond. Oh my goodness. The purpose of the pond is to store thermal energy. Sunlight warms the water during the day and at night when the temperature drops, excess heat is released from the pond into the air. The first reason why I believe we don't need the pond is because we live in Nova Scotia near the ocean and there is so much moisture and humidity in this province. Ask anyone who lives here. The second reason is, is because we have supplemental heat. And lastly, we ran water to the greenhouse. So we have a hose in here and we are gonna be setting up irrigation. We're gonna make the dome multi-purpose. We're gonna have an amazing hangout and yoga studio in here and I can't wait to show you what we do to it. It's gonna transform. It's like 10 degrees outside and it's 28 in here. It is so hot, it's nearly tropical. We definitely did the right location because the sun is heating this place up. We are crushing it. The pond is nearly gone. It took us a full day to build it and only half an hour to 40 minutes to get it out. So, feeling good about it. It's a beautiful space. It's gonna be amazing. And I can't wait to show you what we're gonna do with it in just a few minutes. Now we need to build our garden bed walls. Okay, let's go get some lumber. Welcome to the lumber yard. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? We got some milled wood. Even if we don't have that same thickness, we can use like those thin boards. That's what I'm thinking. Why not, right? Why not? You love the mulch. What are you doing? What are you doing? We built a wall. Fab you love. All the space for activity. Look at that. You could have a dance party right here. Oh my gosh, we're not building a yoga studio, we're building a dancing pad. Dance Dance Revolution. We actually are really good at that game. <laughs> Holy sh! Holy sh! I'm getting crystal sick. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out. What do you have on the end of that line? Whoa! Have you ever fished before? I used to go to derbies, baby. You definitely didn't participate. You were in the stands. I was definitely at the concession stand. <laughs> Eating all the hot dogs. Oh my gosh, we should have a fire today and have roasted dogs. I'm so down, I'll eat the whole pack. On Crystal and I's like, I don't know, fifth ever day, we both ate a full pack of hot dogs each. Together. together. At the fire. At the fire, it was funny. No battery. Crystal, this is why I said I don't like going back and forth, and this is- Blah, 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 This is the- Let it out, you know? Oh my god. What better way to measure? 
Then with the yoga mat. Strike a pose. So it'll be. No, a yoga pose. <laughs> We'll oh, do that when we have a deck. Okay, fine. <laughs> also, like, how on demand was that? Second post. <laughs> Not gonna lie, y'all. We designed this deck last year. We plan to build it before the winter. And I'm L so glad we didn't. LOL. So ambitious. As we make our measurements and prepare the base of the deck, we can't wait to transform this space. This greenhouse will not only extend the growing season, but will also be a warm oasis to retreat to. Okay, because this is a unique looking deck as we're building it in this geodesic dome, obviously we're gonna have a lot of measurements and a lot of cuts because we need to build the base of the deck. And we're building it out of two by eight pressure treated wood as we want it to feel like we were stepping up into the space. Also just keeps it nice and clean. I mean, for two minutes until we wear our boots on here. Let's be freaking real. I'm very happy. I've been dreaming of this greenhouse makeover. All winter, like Justin said, we've had these materials sitting in the garage for so long. It's gonna be so nice when this is, oh my gosh. I'm gonna spend too much time in here, honestly. I'm gonna touch my toes. You're gonna learn to touch your toes. <laughs> Get those little toesies to the fingers. Level. Crystal with the brains. Level. There you go. There you oh, go. someone brought the chair. <laughs> well, no work's getting done now. And I'm already enjoying eating on the deck. We're pulling out all the snacks right now. It's dangerous. We have now cut all of our joists, which are gonna lay this way. We're just gonna put those in with framing nails as it is a floating deck. I'm not gonna use trace hangers in this because I don't think it's necessary at all. Let's start by putting one piece down, leveling it with the material we have because we will need some. And then we'll keep going and if we have too much, then we'll start to take it out. This type of deck building is actually super, super fun because it's on the ground. It's super easy, you just... It's a floating deck, I just said that. Yeah, it's like yeah. the wood chair we're gonna build. It's like super simple design. The project I've had the most fun building would have been the deck build last year. And it was even snowing and hailing and sunny and rainy. What the? Literal snow! But it was my favorite time. So we're gonna have a lot of fun building this. And I think we are in need of a yoga sesh all the way out here in the woods being so sick. We need some AG1. I wish I was healthy right now. Being sick is not fun. Not fun. But at least I know I'm getting all my 75 vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and whole food source ingredients. Because to be honest, I do not feel like eating food right now. Neither do I. And because you're getting sick. You and get this is bringing me back to health. Thank you AG1 for sponsoring this week's video. And all you need to do is add eight ounces of water into here, one scoop, shake it up, and well, bam You are insured for the day. We have been drinking AG1 for- Years. Three years, and I couldn't recommend it more to anyone. It is seriously life in a bottle. And for those who are wondering, it is subtly sweet. It is delicious. Prove it tastes good. I didn't make any sort of face. You know that slump you get into around the afternoon? The one that happens right now? But not anymore. <laughs> you can combat it with AG1. It truly increases our energy levels so much. Thank you AG1 for getting me through this day. And if you would like to combat your energy levels, we have left you a link in the description. Scroll down, click it, and you will get five free travel packs and a year supply worth of a vitamin D dropper with your first purchase. There's nothing better. It's the best combo. Give me one strong deck. We are flying at putting all the joists on every 16 inches. Dingle, bangle, bongo. What's going to be tricky is all of these angles our deck is going to have in it. Last joy, a little level level. Nice. We are going to waste, I don't know if I can say it, wasting time, but we are going to spend a lot of time figuring out the angles to only add 
this much extra space. The great debate of what we should do. I personally want to just build a rectangle deck with long decking boards, and then I wanna build extra planting beds on the side. Imagine just doing yoga. Well, first of all, imagine just doing yoga in a greenhouse. That is absolutely like, wow. But then imagine doing yoga and peppermint just or eucalyptus or lavender literally at your nose when you are doing child's pose. I don't know, I'm kind of into it, but I'm not sure if the partner in crime is into it. Oi, oh my gosh, I almost just died. I stepped on that thing and it went in my face. You gotta wash that bag. Oh, that was close. Okay, Boogie, what do you think? Rectangle deck? I don't know how to figure, I'm really not good at angles. So rectangle deck? Maybe. She's the boss, so she says yes, I'm gonna be happy girl. Rectangle deck? We might have to. I don't even think it's that great of a debate. I think you're on my side now. You weren't earlier on my side. You were like, no way, we are cutting angles. More food though, Crystal, remember gardening. Remember gardens. I know. Lavender. Think about that, child's pose. Yeah, that's plenty of space. Downward dog. We've added these supports so that way the joists don't bevel. Pick up your mic already. We've added these supports so the joists, I have a radio voice right now, don't I? You're now listening to. This is like a high traffic area for yoga stars. Very happy with the decision. With all my deck building knowledge, which is I've built one deck. I've realized you can never over construct a deck. You can only under construct one. Boogie's getting sick now and this boogie's better. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my gosh! No! 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 <laughs> That's my tangerine tree duh! One good thing about this project is it's still a disaster, but look. It's really bad, but we are making a pathway now. Small wins at the Van Wives household. Small wins, and it's decking time. Woo! On the first decking board, we're gonna go with a nice angle. You're gonna see it, and you don't want it to look like trash. Having our own yoga studio in the greenhouse is going to give us our favorite type of yoga, which is hot yoga. As you can see, I am sweating right now. Door is open, and it's 30 degrees in here. So imagine if we keep the door shut. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. And we live over an hour if we wanted to go to any sort of gym, yoga place. So having this in our own backyard is seriously, it's leaving me speechless to be honest. I am so happy to have it. That's what we meant by we're gonna bring the board as far as we can. Not this piece of wood, but something similar. It's gonna go across like that. So then that would be a planter and this will be the yoga studio. Will it fit? Shit, girl, you're good, eh? It's okay. Last piece? Jenga. Oh, I colored on it. That's okay. <laughs> oh my god, you are the biggest perfectionist I've ever in my life. <laughs> done. Give me that thumbs up again. Oh, I've done so many thumbs up in this video. I should probably give us one up. more. I'll give you two. <laughs> Four. Oh my god. Quite the bed you made, Izzy, Izzy, in the mulch. That's so nice. That's a nice spot, girl. You like it here? Wow, you really make beds anywhere you go, eh? Look how perfect it is. <laughs> it fits her perfectly. Look at this. Right around. That looks so comfortable. I would sleep there, wizard. I guess, lost looking in your eyes. A little shook up at the side of you. It gets me every time. Yeah, girl, crushing it. All right, here you go. Welcome. Throwing me line, pulling me back to you. As we finish filling our new garden beds, top it off with manure, and a quick test of the dance floor, we are nearing the completion of the greenhouse transformation. And one step closer to our own yoga studio. This deck has transformed the greenhouse. It's exactly what I dreamt of and more, really. 
because of the garden beds too. It's extra growing space. I never want to leave when I come in here and now we have a place to hang out here when we come in. That's more than a seat. We can use it, like Jasmine said, to work out and just to lounge and read a book and it'll be very, very nice space to use. I love it, I love it a lot. This is just the start of deck building this summer. I'd say it's a perfect one to start with, eh? My thank you. My good girl. Look how nice it is, it's so beautiful. I wish you could all smell it too. Whoa! Please. No, no, no. We're supposed to be zen right now. Nothing says summer like a deck and... Thank you. Cheers, everyone. First want to do yoga on the deck. Good job. Good job, my dog. Cheers. It's summer, baby. Not quite, but <laughs> it feels like it. One thing led to another and sitting down turned into lying down. And well, we fell asleep. That was until we woke up to a lick in the face. <laughs> All right, I woke up. If you're an observant person, you'll notice that there's a few different things in this greenhouse, like plug, electricity box, plug. And that's because we have been busy the last couple of days. So we're going to catch you up right now on all the changes that have happened. Our electrician, Adam, arrived to replace our faulty battery, allowing us to make use of all of our battery banks. We then installed power outlets in the greenhouse, and now our electrical system is complete. This yoga studio and greenhouse. We gotta think of a name for it. So, for now, we're just gonna, well, you know, it's five o'clock. Well, not only has it caught up with Jasmine, but me too. We're having Chef Wu tonight, and my energy is completely dropping. Chef Wu. Woo! Woo! This is so good. It is so, so good. 20 grams of protein in here. Up, up. Good girl. You're probably saying, you girls should be eating better food while you're sick. And you're right. Probably should. But there's 20 grams of protein in there. But when you're sick, no one wants to cook. Or eat. Am I right? Or eat. <laughs> so. What? <laughs> I've never been more confident in this decision. I'm extremely excited. How about you, Izzy? You excited? We're all excited. Look at this goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Strap. It's a hell of a time. Oh, baby. This is my absolute favorite place on earth. Retweet. I think we built a sleep deck, not a yoga deck. <laughs> the Energizer bunnies ran out of battery. <laughs> Just kidding. Getting charged up right now by the we sun. Def we definitely did it, but it's just, um, sometimes your body says slow down. It's kind of ironic that we're planting all this good food that helps like heal you and nourish your body and we're like building a yoga deck for like self-care and to stretch and increase flexibility and, and help our muscles our focus i'm just so happy we got it done too no but i'm good saying for the you. irony that we're sick and like doing all of this stuff in the space is it's true it's just reminding us to be like please slow down girls your bodies need you to slow down now we just got so hyped that the sun was out. I think we worked. We went so hard. We worked so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so right. I didn't even think about that. We went so hard. I haven't even like reflected. The last like two to like three to four weeks have been like a complete blur. You've been a tractor, like so have you. And you were you've been really sick the last few days, and I know I'm getting it now. Yeah, so now you're in for a treat. Anyway, we'll just um, take it slow right now and keep closing our eyes, and in ten minutes. We maybe, got, maybe we'll get back up. <laughs> After a day of rest to recover our sick bodies, we continue to care for ourselves through movement. And with a warm and vibrant greenhouse, we roll out our mats for the first time. Not gonna lie, I've been a little embarrassed on my lack of flexibility. This is how much I can cross my legs. Like they don't 
go down. It is very painful even to sit here in my hips and everything. I'm pretty close. You are pretty close. But it hurts, like, and I don't think it should. Like, I can touch for like one second, but I want to be able to like touch, you know? Day one. Look at her legs compared to mine, everyone. As we engage in the dance of movement, our muscles stretch, elongate, and regain their vitality. We connect to our bodies and our breath. And in this very moment, we are where our feet are. We are present with ourselves and each other. One day of yoga became two, and two days became seven. Every day we show up to our mats, we reconnect with ourselves, care for our bodies, and we inch closer to our goal. This greenhouse is a special sanctuary for us. The presence of greenery and the warmth of the sun makes for the perfect oasis to stretch and care for ourselves and maybe even touch our toes. But the real question. Can I play the bag game? <laughs> oh, <terrible. laughs> oh, my. Looks like I gotta keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> and your little pretzel.